I don't know whether we're going to call this a tip building strategy or what, but the process of building a biplane and trying to connect the higher wing to the lower wing, I've done it several different ways, um, and I'm trying to get a little easier way to do it. So, trying to get everything straight here has always been a bear. And where's that pen at I fixed? It's not there. Line there, straight line there. Straight line there. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm going to use signboard, core flute, core plast, whatever you want to call it. It's what signboards are made out of. It's got the little holes in it. And I find that you can run a barbecue stick in there very comfortably without much trouble. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and glue the support for the upper or for the wing right to the to the um, now what I find is you have to scuff the scuff both the plastic and let's see I'm going to put it down this way so I'll Put the glue on the on this plastic because if you put it on the tape, sometimes it the heat from the gun. Ouch! Will cause it to lift the tape. I'm making each side of this half inch now whether or not that's going to be sufficient in other words the this is going to this is going to carry some of the weight I'm going to have one two three four supports going across so this is going to carry some of the weight okay do the same thing to the other side Sometimes I make some of these videos, not, not so much to be broadcast on YouTube, but also so I remember how to do stuff. There's for, I haven't done any building in a, quite a long time. And, oops, got to go like that. So when it comes time to uh, get back into building during this time of isolation I uh, kind of had to do some real consideration there you know what I was doing trim back on this on the ends here so that they'll be even on, on both sides you got to think about that because when you split these you get a little you get a hangover now okay I got that now if you notice this wing is shorter than the top wing it could have made it the same size and used the same principle but uh, since I had these wings made up, oh, by the way, what I'm doing is I'm clearing out my junk drawers. Uh, everything that I got half built, you know, that I didn't like, I did this, and I didn't like the color, the yellow that I ended up with, and the green. And I thought, oh, that's ugly. Well, I'm going to make them what I normally would consider an ugly plane. Uh, the 
yellow that I normally would have used is that yellow there. That's close, but no banana. All right, now, in order to mount this then, put that in the last hole over here. Come on, go in there, here we go. And then put it in this hole here. Actually, it'd been smart to mark these holes. But then again, nobody ever said I was smart. Oops. And possibly you might want to round off these ends. These ends are not really rounded off here. And I'm getting a split there, which makes it double, double hard to get in. Come on, go in there. You gonna make it hard on me? I'll just get you a little trim here. You can trim quite a bit off there. Should have sharpened it to some semi point. It would have made it a heck of a lot easier to get in there. My problem is, is this thing is splintering. Okay, which one is it? Keep that in there. Pencil and open up the hole a little bit. There we go. Let's see which one we got in this one. Oops, come on over. Here we go. Not the one I was shooting for. Take care of that later. I can. This is just I'm just putting it in here for demonstration purposes now. I'm in the second hole. Okay. So basically, that's how it's going to work. Okay. Now, I don't have it ready, but. Uh, I'm also going to take and I'm going to glue these to the side of the fuselage. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm going to glue another set to the side of the fuselage and I'm going to angle these out to get lateral support. That'll be some coming out this way. And then I'll be able to still use these flutes coming up and have a vertical and then an angled one to give lateral support. And I think it just kind of looks a little nicer when you just have um, the struts. I think it looks a little nicer when you just have the struts like that instead of having if you use a solid piece, it kind of acts like a, a rudder and makes an airplane hard turn. I've done it with solid pieces that didn't work out so well. Um, I've done different ways here of uh, uh, putting the uh, struts here and I wasn't crazy about that. But what I wanted to end up here is, and looking at it, yes the wings are even. By doing it that way and having everything pre-cut to size, the wings come out even and square. Uh, still got to work on this one here because if I don't split it now, well, just, I can take it back off. I can split it and put the servos and everything in there now. It'll make it a lot easier to work on. But because of the fact that I can assemble and disassemble it with this with the uh, uh, barbecue sticks, um, that makes it a heck of a lot easier to, to build these things. Hey, thanks for watching. This isn't very long, but this is just regular. It's election time. We're going to see a lot of signs out there. And you can wait till after election time, or you can get yourself a sign. <laughs> um, I, this, these actually, uh, these signs are from election, oh gosh, 2016. So these are old signs. Uh, I think this is from the sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he did, this is working out okay. 
Anyhow, I thought I'd pass that along. People that want to, uh, you know, put struts in. Like I say, these are going to go. I'm going to have, uh, and this one here, I'm going to have. Come on, go in there. Probably a little better if you round them off a little bit. But this one's going to have a strut like that. And then it's going to have a vertical strut. By the way, if you take and, and uh, well, get this thing. Now that I got it in there, let's get it in there right. Because if you stick it all the way through, you can't get the angle that you want. So you just take it till it's almost there. And then you take this one here. It doesn't have to be in the same spot. It'll be way forward. Okay. So I glue it on like that. And I've got a vertical strut. And then I've got an angle strut going out to uh, su support the wing and keep it from uh, racking back and forth. And of course the bottom uh, wing is supported by the fuselage. It's going to be glued into the fuselage. So that's going to come out okay. Um, it's just one of those things where, you know, you get all the parts together. And a lot of these parts I had already made. But basically... This is going to be the airplane. Uh, should be kind of interesting. Hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Um, see you again next time.